Live, Live from, from Scout Studio, Studio it's things to talk about. Good morning, Jax. Today we've gone together to talk about things that are related to being respectful. I'm Samantha. I'm Jalen. I'm Asha. I'm Raphael. And I'm Ayla. We've got a lot of things to talk about, so let's get started. Loveland High School is looking to a Lakota Sioux tribe for helping create a new respectful mascot and a hands-on learning and history and culture for the school. The American Indians will bring their music, dances, and traditions to Loveland High School. It creates a whole different understanding of culture. It also shows a tremendous respect for the history of Native American culture. It's also a great learning opportunity for the students there. They worked with the South Dakota tribe to make sure the Indian mascot is respectful. The school made sure that any image of the chief was worn over the heart and not on the back. They also made sure that there were no faces of tribesmen on the gym floor. Instead, the floor had a W for warriors. Tribe members visited the school many times to share ceremonial dances and their culture. Since today's topic is about being respectful, let's see how you can be respectful in a classroom. In order to be respectful in a TJMS classroom, raise your hand when you know the answer, share your supplies with other classmates, use inside voices during class, and keep quiet while the teacher is teaching. Well, now we know how to be respectful in a classroom. The Food Frenzy is this Friday, April 26th. Food tickets are $1. You'll need to purchase food tickets at the student store during your lunch. Spring theme games continue today with a competitive obstacle course. Let's see how to play. First, dribble a ball through the cones. Next, pick up the wiffle balls and play cup pong from five feet. Keep going until you make it. Next, run through the hula hoops, bend backwards under the limbo bar and pick up the pom pom. Do the same thing on the way back. Skip over the cup pong and dribble a ball back through the cones. First person back wins. Tomorrow we will play kickball. Let's take a look. The pitcher will roll the ball and the runner will kick it. Run around as many bases as you can and make it back home without getting out. The objective is to win by scoring more runs than the opposing team. If you kick a foul ball, you get to kick again. If the defensive team catches your kick, you're out. There are no tags to get an out. Three outs and the team switch. Tomorrow, there is also a rally dancing our way to the final stretch, motivating you guys to push through these last six weeks of school. There will be a few games at the rally, one of which is Rochambeau Split. If you are interested in playing this game at the rally, pay attention because it isn't like traditional Rochambeau. Let's go to leadership to learn how to play. First, start off with your feet together, one foot in front of the other. Then have your partner do the same and make sure both yours and your partner's front feet are touching, as shown. When the game begins, you and your partner will play rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Whoever wins takes their front foot and puts it directly behind their other foot. The losing opponent has to slide their front foot forward until it meets their opponent's new front foot. Play continues until the music stops. The person in the splits is out and the person still standing will then be paired up with another winner. The last person standing is the winner. If that game interests you, make sure to come in appropriate clothing and a good ad and a good understanding of how it's played. Leadership students will be pulling you out of the crowd to play. Today during your lunch, you can sign up for the longest final stretch. If you are interested in playing, you can sign up during your lunch today or tomorrow morning before school in front of the MC building. 
Leadership students will briefly explain the game to you. If you sign up, you will be pulled out of the crowd during the rally to play. Remember, if you sign up for a game or plan on participating in the rally, wear appropriate clothing. In other school news, we will not be collecting golden tickets today. We have a goal. If you have a golden ticket, please hold on to it till Thursday. Now let's go to Allison and Paige for a minute of news. Got a minute? Then, then it's time, time for some news. news. Walmart wants store workers to help out customers instead of mopping up floors and unloading boxes and bathrooms. So it's increasingly turning to robots to fill those tasks. Walmart announced Tuesday that, it's, that it is adding thousands of new robots to its stores. There may be another exciting development to look forward to for the first ever photos of a black hole. Scientists from Event Horizon released the image on April 10th. And it, they present it as a groundbreaking result from, project, from the project, according to a media advisory. A pastor had a feeling it was dangerous, but after Louisiana fires, he felt he had no choice but to sleep in his church. Dwight Brown came to his church two nights last week. Some news that will give Grease fans chills that they could soon see another chapter of Danny and Sandy's love story. Paramount Studios is currently developing a prequel to Grease titled Summer Lovely and has recruited Big Fish writer John August to pen the script, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Here are 60 seconds of news to keep you informed. See you next time, you got, got a minute. minute. Artist Debbie Laughlin from Casco Bay uses science and her imagination to transform seaweed such as this into beautiful art like the Sinto art. Lolan, an island girl at heart, uses a type of painting pr printing process called canotype to create maps of islands that come straight from her imagination. To make the maps, Lolan puts a piece of seaweed on special photographic paper. The paper then develops under the light, changes colors, and leaves an impression where the seaweed was placed. She then brings the botanical blueprints to life. Lolin's maps are fictional but come from her love of island life. It's so cool that something as simple as seaweed can become a beautiful piece of artwork like that. If you're signed up to travel to Peru this summer, mark your calendar for an important pre-departure meeting. On Tuesday, April 30th, Peru travelers will learn about travel documents, what to pack, airport and baggage procedures, safety tips, culture shock, and more. That's Tuesday, April 30th at 5 p.m. in room MH4. Travelers, you're about to experience a great adventure. See you at the meeting. Eighth grade students, don't forget Franklin High School is offering a summer school program to the incoming ninth grade students from June 4th to June 28th. Applications are available in Student Services, the main office, and our website. Please turn in your completed form by, to Franklin High School by Friday, April 26th. Students will be notified if they got in by May 10. We want to see what you did on your spring break. Use the TJTV Interactive link to send pictures and videos that you took during your break. Sending in your photos gives you a chance to be featured on TJTV. We look forward to seeing what you and your family did on spring break. The deadline to share your pics is tomorrow. Now it's time for Hashtag Trending. Hey guys, I'm Kiara and it's time for a hashtag trending. One of the most trending apps at the moment. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's Zepetto, a three-dimensional avatar app meant for connecting with others, created by Navar Corporations to create your 3D Zepetto. All you have to do is take a picture of yourself. The app will generate face similar to your own. After that, you can customize your new character to your liking. You can even give your Zepetto fashionable and trendy clothing. And you're good to go. You can use your Zepetto, take pictures with other people's creations. 
and to talk with others through the app's virtual worlds. Zepedos are everywhere on social media, from Instagram stories to Snapchat posts. Zepedo comes out with a new with new trending clothes, backgrounds, and picture poses every other week so you can stay hashtag trending. Dizzy's coming out with a lot of live action remakes of their past biggest hits. The movies that are planned to come out this year include Toy Story 4, Aladdin, The Lion King, and much more. But we are here to talk about Dumbo. The movie came out on March 29th and has a 59% like score on Rotten Tomatoes. It's based on the 1941 classic, with the Dumbo we all know and love, being born with oversized ears that allow him to fly. He revitalizes a rundown circus he works in with his extraordinary skills, drawing audiences from far and wide. The movie had a production budget of $170 million and had estimates to make $50 million in its opening weekend alone. Welcome, baby Jumbo. We're all family here, no matter how small. Eighth grade students, don't forget Franklin High School is offering a summer program to ninth grade to incoming ninth grade students from June 4th through June 28th. Applications are available in Student Services, the main office, and our website. Please turn in your completed form by Franklin High to Franklin High School by tomorrow, April 26th. Students will be notified if they got in by May 10th. Dynamics will be meeting today in the gym after school from 3 to 4 p.m. 7th grade Royal J members, the last Royal J meeting this year is on Thursday, April 25th after school in Miss Neff's room, MF8. Please attend this meeting to check in and update your file and create a plan for what you will do this summer. Now let's go to check in to see what the Filipino Club is up to. On Tuesdays, the Filipino Club meets in Miss Bastion's room, MH5. Let's go to Alan Abile Mateo, the president of the club, to learn more. In Filipino Club, we occasionally have potlucks and we bring foods such as adobo, lumpia, and oh, yeah, a lot of rice. We also play Kikuyu and we learn about the programmer and we speak to Bella. Today, we sponsored our merchandise by knocking on teachers' doors and asking them if they wanted to buy one of our merchandise. Please support the Filipino Club or even join it next year. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Ayla. Thanks, Ayla. That wraps it up for today's discussion. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Things, Things to Talk, talk about. about. Remember to wear your pride shirt tomorrow. Bye. Bye.